Okay, let's study the Bible again and awesome that you're joining. Today we will study 1 Timothy 6 verse 4 and the previous verse, uh, verse 3 was like the first part of this verse so I will read it again. If anyone teaches false doctrine and does not agree to the sound instructions of our Lord Jesus Christ and to godly teaching, and here is where verse 4 starts, he is conceited and understands nothing. He has an unhealthy interest in controversies and words that result in envy, strife, malicious talk, evil suspicions and more. In this verse, Paul begins to list the traits common to all who promote messages contrary to the gospel, capturing seven of the nine in this section. As we can judge a tree by its fruits, these traits are listed to better protect the flock from the harmful, harmful influence of those that seek to lead them astray by teaching false doctrine. In order, the traits are first, conceit or arrogance. Rather than following all of God's word to draw proper conclusions, pride blinds such men to place themselves above the scripture. Second, understanding nothing or unteachable. As these teachers are so convinced of their position, they are blind to the truth. This trait feeds the next as those who resist correction often go to great lengths to defend their errors. Thirdly, prone to bickering, arguments and debating over non-essential issues. The false teacher enjoys arguing about the words of scripture for the sake of the words themselves, not for the sake of the truth. This trend towards scrabbling gives rise to the rest of the flaws Paul will mention. Envy. False teachers desire the spiritual respect, reputation or image true spiritual teachers have. They yearn to be regarded as wise and be treated as such. Fifth, filled with strife, dissension such that they are regularly embroiled in disagreement or controversy. They possess an, an, an inability to agree to disagree on non-essential issues in the faith and often treat, treat those who cannot agree with them on every point very poorly. Malicious talk or slander. 6. Such teachers spread misleading, dishonest, unfair or blatantly false information to create division among Christian believers. And 7. Evil suspicions about others to include routinely engaging in conspiracy theories and paranoia. Naturally, a person who is totally convinced their position cannot possibly be wrong is likely to assume that all who oppose them do so as a personal vendetta which in turn leads to the false teacher to further participate in further slander bickering and dissent brothers besides remaining vigilant for false teachers who unwittingly demonstrate these attributes May we guard against the spirit of pride entering our own hearts. As we seek God through his word, we do well to sharpen each other's understanding in humility, love and fear and respect for God. May God continue to strengthen our understanding of his word so that we can quickly correct false doctrine and protect the flock from imminent danger. May God bless you all.